Hi, welcome back to Chem with Go. Tonight we're going to take a look at uh, density unit conversions. So our example is, let's say we have a gold nugget right here, and we know from lecture that the density of gold is 19.30 grams per cubic centimeter. Now let's say we want to convert these units. Instead of these being grams per cubic centimeter, we want to convert them into kilograms per milliliter what would be this answer if we converted the units into kilograms per milliliter? All right, well, let's go ahead and set up the problem first. So we start out with what we're given, 19.30 grams. And what I'm going to do is divide this by one cubic centimeter. Because that's what that really says. It's 19.30 gram, 19 grams per cubic centimeter. All right, let's focus on the top first. We want to convert the grams, which are right here, into kilograms in our unit over here. Since we're trying to do that, we're going to use the definition of what a kilogram is. And you get this from the table in your textbook. Uh, one kilogram is actually equal to 10 to the third grams. And note that when we do the unit analysis, we can actually cancel out the grams units and have kilograms up on top. All right, well, then let's go ahead and focus on the denominator now. This is in cubic centimeters, and we want to convert that into milliliters. And remember from lecture that one cubic centimeter is actually equal to one milliliter. And we can use that conversion factor in this second uh, set of uh, parentheses right here. So, but instead of putting, putting a cubic centimeters up on top, we're going to go ahead, I mean on the bottom, we're going to go ahead and put that on top. And the reason why is because we can go ahead and take a look at the unit analysis later and cross this with this. And since one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter, we'll put that on the bottom. And note that the units that we have left are kilograms over milliliters. Excellent. So this just becomes a calculator problem at this point. So what's 19.30 divided by 1,000? And that gives me 0 0.01930 kilograms per milliliter. So that is the converted unit of density for gold in terms of kilograms per milliliters. Now, since we started out with four significant figures here in our original measurement, we have to make sure that we have four significant figures in our answer. All right, and that's it. Uh, check out the next videos, and uh, we'll see you soon in class.